Well, hello, Scorpio. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon. And or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So welcome or welcome back, Scorpio, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, Scorpio. So let's finish getting your cards out here and we will start your reading. So, yes, as I am recording this, it is May 15th, and that is, okay, I'm putting all of those, okay, that one's staying there, I'm putting all of these back. Um, May 15th is in Taurus season, which is your opposite sign, and so we are in your opposite energy as I am recording this, so... Whether, just depending on when you are watching that, keep that in mind as I am reading the cards. So, and depending on, you know, however the energy applies to you, this can be for your week coming up or the week you have already experienced. So, for your spirit animal this week, you have the Flamingo Spirit, card number 26. Embrace the in-between. Embrace the in-between. Ooh, Scorpio, I'm so excited to read this Flamingo Spirit for you. I haven't read Flamingo Spirit, so I'm very excited. And I feel like uh, maybe, I feel like the past couple times, maybe you guys got the same animal. And so Flamingo Spirit, I like it. It's, it's a very... I feel like fresh and um, fun. So yeah, let's read Flamingo Spirit for you, Scorpio. Okay, Flamingo Spirit, embrace the in-between. Balance comes easily to Flamingo Spirit, who sees that what was and what will be and stands strong in the face of uncertainty. You can be informed by what came before and plan for a future yet to be, but do not resist Flamingo's spirit, Flamingo Spirit's call to be fully present in the now, where the real magic happens. With one fit in the life you are moving away from and one in the future as you become the one who leads the life of your highest intentions, you must make peace with the fact that you are not fully in either place. Embrace the in-between. The presence of Flamingo Spirit is also a sign that your creativity is arising within you and opportunities are beginning to present themselves. Remain here in a balanced state of mind, for there is much to know and learn before going forward with new plans. You can trust this moment and yourself as you take in what you see and become aware of all that you are experiencing in this in-between time. Ooh, I love it. I love it. So, yeah. Very interesting. Scorpio is my Jupiter sign. So, this is very interesting. All this time that I've been doing you know, the saying Jupiter, I totally forgot to tune into Scorpio as my Jupiter sign. <laughs> but all right, Scorpio, in your recent past, you have card number 37 with fruition. Ooh, fruition. Harvest moon. So I feel that in your recent past, there was something that you were able to bring to fruition, something that you were able to manifest for yourself, something, some sort of abundance that you brought into yourself. Um, yeah, something that was harvested that 
was love loving like fruitful abundant yeah it feels really beautiful this energy your tarot card is the wheel of fortune with karma so i feel that this is whatever it is that you brought into fruition was through karma so you know karma is not negative karma is neutral what you put out comes back to you so if you are putting out good energy that's what's coming back to you and I feel that you manifested into fruition something that yeah came back as good karma for you as the will of fortune so that is beautiful that's amazing and beautiful and right now in your present energy, you have card number 30, snow moon with purity, purity. So what I'm feeling with this is that right now in your present energy, you are purifying your, you know, purifying your thoughts, purifying your, um, just kind of your old, the old version of yourself, you know, letting uh, like releasing what you no longer not going by how you see things but going by how you feel things and you know how you hear things and smell things so this is kind of tuning into a higher version of yourself Okay, I'm going to read, I'm going to find purity here in the book, and I'm going to read just this little part, this first part. It says, purity. Let me see, focus. Look for the simplest and cleanest solution. Understand your motives for doing what you are doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. I know why I do what I do. So, yeah, like you are getting clear in what it is that you, what it is that you're doing, why it is that you're doing what you are doing, and just tuning into a deeper part of you, clearing, clearing out what no longer needs to be there. So, I love it. Your tarot card is the five of wands with chaos, <laughs> chaos. So, yeah, amongst the chaos, you have to find this purity. So you probably have a lot of things that are going on around you right now, or maybe even within you. And this is the reason why you are trying to achieve this purity right now in your present energy, Scorpio. So, yeah, <laughs> I love it. Just know that everything passes, like, Chaos is temporary and, you know, the more pure you find yourself being, the less you will find that, the, like, you will find that it's easier to deal with any sort of chaos because it just won't hit the same. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. In your present or in your future energy, Scorpio, you are moving into fear, fear. So I love this. Do you know, remember what it said, embrace the in-between, embrace the in-between. As you are moving forward, you are in this in-between area still where you are going to be called to release fear. Like you are going to be called from hiding in, you know, like what it looks like, this little light closet that looks like a light from like a little closet from hiding to being out and about and facing everything that you want to be holding on to those birds, holding on to the cage, you know, like being the master of your fears. So owning it, whatever it is, you are going to be asked. And like, look at this, like, isn't this so funny? Look at these cards, like purity and fear. It's like the yin and the yang. So it's like 
you are being built up in this one so that you can face this one and you can face this one with strength and knowing that there is more of this on the other side. This is always temporary, but you know, it's something that we all have to go through. And I feel that when we are stepping into a new version, because you know, like that's one of the main things this was talking about is stepping into a new version of yourself that it is a little scary. So moving forward, because, you know, maybe this is something that you brought into fruition for yourself. This is your good karma return. And so you find yourself in this area where you are now just cleansing and purifying yourself of, you know, all that has to do with, you know, the old version of yourself and moving forward, you also have to deal with the fear that is coming with this new version of yourself. So don't be afraid seeing this in your future. Know that this is something that you are moving through so that you can fully step into the new version of yourself and be past all of the fear and be in the love and um, acceptance for yourself that you, you know, deserve to be in. Know that it's something that you brought into fruition. Your tarot card is the Four of Swords with recuperation. So know that, yeah, Stepping into fear, you will be recuperating afterwards. It is temporary. You will make it through this fear. It's like, what I'm feeling is like a story. Say you manifested, you know, a perfect partner to get married to. And so the person has asked you to marry them. And so now you have brought this to fruition and you're super excited, but it is a little chaotic. <laughs> like, you know, you are feeling really good and positive about it, but there is this chaos. And then, you know, moving forward, you may have some fears about it. Like, oh my gosh, am I really ready for this marriage that, you know, I brought into fruition? Am I ready for this? Am I going to be a good wife? And or husband, and yada, 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 you know what I mean? So that's the that's what I'm feeling with this card, is that it's something that you can move past. This is, you know, could be you manifested the job that you wanted, you know? You're super excited. You manifested the job that you absolutely wanted, and now you're, you know, moving forward. You will be asking yourself, do I really deserve this? Is this really what I want to do? And, you know, but know that this, this fear comes with recuperation. So it's, there is time that is going to be had where you will be, you will see the truth and everything will work out for your best and highest good. So trust yourself. Know that what you you brought this to fruition this is all you this is your dream come true so amazing all right scorpio so this has been your reading this is kind of a long one but <laughs> i hope you all found something that you resonate with and if you did um please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already thank you all so very much for being here i love you and appreciate you and i will see you in your next one.